financial accounting. We're talking about financial performance, specifically the liquidity ratios that have to do with inventory. Remember, inventory, if you're a retailer, is what you buy from your vendors, slap price tags on, and say, fools, come in and pay more than I did. So how fast I can turn that inventory um, is a good indicator of how profitable I will be. So the first one we want to look at is inventory turnover. And how we compute that is the cost of goods sold divided by the average inventory. Now to get average inventory, you take beginning of the year inventory plus end of the year inventory divide by two. So in short exercise six, what we'll do is we'll take the cost of goods sold from the income statement, which is $224,000, and divide it by inventory beginning of the year, inventory end of the year, divide by two. And if we do that for X7, we find that inventory turns 18.7 times a year. That's the refresh rate. So it, you, you stack your shelves. Eight, well, almost 19 times a year. If you had done that for the previous year's uh, numbers, you would find that the inventory turnover was 19.6. So you stocked your shelves more often last year than you are this year. Is that good or bad? That's not good. Well, how many times a year you stock your shelves really doesn't speak to me. What I want to know is how long does something stay on my shelves in my stores? So what I'll do is I'll convert inventory turnover into days inventory on hand. And how I do that is I take 365 days and divide it by inventory turnover. So for X7, 365 days divided by 18.7 times says the shelf life or how long something stays on my shelves is about 19.5 days. So, how often do you stock your shelves? About every 20 days. What did you do last year? You stocked your shelves 18.7 days, or a lot sooner. So what does this tell you about your inventory? Well, it's staying on the shelves longer. Would you want to know why? 